Afghan women armed with the AK-47 assault rifle conducted their first live fire training exercise this week. This historic occasion marks true progress in the Afghanistan woman's struggle to gain equality. <laughs> American women have had their own challenges in gaining equality, and the operation speaks wonders to people like U.S. Army Lieutenant Amanda Straub. Their husbands have died in all of the fighting here. This is an opportunity for them to earn a wage, to feed their families, to have some respect in their society. I think it's awesome. Those who understand the significance of this progress find it emotional. I think it demonstrates an awesome, awesome accomplishment by the Afghans, first of all. And then uh, it's a demonstration of what we've been able to do to help them attain this. One distinguished soldier, the Afghan army's only female general, says her female soldiers view the military service as a lifetime commitment. Our ladies become widow, our mother become their, uh, lost their son, and my wife become lost their husband. So we don't want these things. We have a, we want a peaceful Afghanistan. Attesting to the desire to build gender equality, Major Mohammed Shapur of the Afghan National Army says their evolving culture embraces the change and growth of women in military service. Uh, every country has a special culture, but our culture is also that we really need for the uh, leaders in it, that they come over here and they are do the next with their brothers. <laughs> For their first time firing the AK-47, these women performed well at the 100-meter line. Many placed rounds in the man-sized target, and all say it was a good first experience with live fire. In Afghanistan, I'm Tim King reporting for SalemNews.com.